up? It's Nelly. Welcome back to my channel. For today's video, I have this makeup look for you guys. And this is kind of like my everyday go-to makeup routine. This is definitely more of a glam version of it. A couple days ago, I posted this video and that is more of like my basic routine. This particular makeup look that I have on today is definitely more of a glam version of that one. This was like the older sister to that one. This is a makeup look that I tend to do a lot. I mean, I wore this look to Walmart like two days ago, not with the lips because the mask, it's annoying, the lip gloss with the mask, but my face, I wore my face makeup to Walmart like this, like two days ago, and I feel good. I loved it. Whenever I just wanna feel a little better about myself and just glam myself up, this is what I have been doing. It's just as easy and as quick as the first one that I filmed a couple days ago, but this one is just a little bit more glam. So if you wanna see how I get this look, then definitely go ahead and keep on watching. All right, beautiful people, let's get ready to glam. We are going to start by taking some gel. Yes, you heard that right, some hair gel, and running this through our brows. This is a little technique that I learned off of TikTok and Instagram to get that soap fluffy brow and I have been obsessed with it and it's so affordable. Next, I'm going to be priming my eyelids just using any concealer of your choice and then blending it out using my sponge. For the summertime, I really love that wet looking eyelid. So to achieve this, I am taking the Dose of Colors Eye Dual in the shade Maple. It's a beautiful kind of cranberry shade. Taking the cream side of the product, I am going to begin to apply this all over the entire eyelid. And I'm also going to apply a little bit in the lower lash line. Next, you wanna take any mid-tone brown. I am just mixing these two, but you can also use your bronzer. And taking a big blending brush, I am going to run this color through the crease just to kind of soften up the edges of that cream shadow and make everything just look a little bit more seamless. Here comes the sparkle. <laughs> I am taking the Urban Decay eyeshadow in the shade Star Gazer. This is like a pressed glitter. And I am going to focus this on the first half of the lid and I'm also focusing the color in the inner corner. This is going to add to the appearance of a glossy eyelid. Make sure to take a makeup wipe and remove any excess fallout and also sharpen up and clean out the outer corners. Moving on to the face, I am going to go ahead and prime my face using the YSL All Hours Primer. I forgot how liquidy this product is, but it is amazing and it gives my skin a beautiful glow. For foundation, I am taking the Dior Backstage Fluid Foundation in the shade 3W and I am going to apply it to the center of the face first and then I'm going to thin it out towards the rest of the face. I love this foundation for summer because it's so nice and lightweight and it gives me just the right amount of coverage. It's not too much coverage and it's not too little coverage. It's perfect. Once I have it almost blended out with the brush, then I'm going to go in with a beauty blender and really push it into the skin and make it nice and seamless. And of course, don't forget your neck. My sleeping schedule has been um, not the best this summer, so I do have some dark circles under my eyes. So to conceal them, I am taking the Kevin Aquan Central Skin Enhancer in the shade SX05, and I'm gonna blend that out just using a fluffy brush. Now that our under eyes are nice and even and there is no darkness in sight, I'm just gonna go in with a light layer of the Il Maquillage Beep on Flawless Concealer just to kind of highlight and bring some brightness back into the face. So I am applying this concealer on the areas where I would normally conceal and then I'm just gonna blend that out just using my damp beauty sponge. Moving on to cream contour, I am taking the Maybelline Foundation Stick in the shade Coconut and I am going to contour the hollows of the cheeks up in the forehead and pretty much around the perimeter of the face. I recently picked up this product from Maybelline because I heard it was a dupe for Estee Lauder and so far I am pretty obsessed with the formula. 
For blush, I am taking this Revolution Pro Cream Blush in the shade Peaches. You guys have seen me use this in the past and I am absolutely obsessed with it. There's something about it that I just love. So I am going to apply that to the apples of the cheeks and I'm also going to be running this pretty much all over the skin because I really want that nice and sun-kissed summer glow and this color is perfect for that. Next, we are going to begin to set everything into place. I am going to start off by taking the Milani Conceal and Perfect Powder in the shade Fair. And I'm going to use this to set the under eyes. This is another recent purchase and um, it's pretty good, you guys. I'm really happy with the way that it turned out. To set the contour into place and to further bronze, I am taking this bronzing powder from Ofra and I am just going to apply it on the areas where we applied that cream contour. I am going to be baking just a little bit and to do that, I am taking the Givenchy Rosé powder and I am going to place this under the eyes and on the sides of the nose and down the bridge of the nose. I'm also taking a powder that's kind of similar to my skin color and I'm using this on the bottom half of my face to just just chisel out my cheekbones just a bit. Going back to the eyebrows, I am just taking my Benefit Precisely My Brow Pencil and I'm just going to underline the brows and then I'm taking the Benefit Give Me Brow in the shade 5 and I am going to use this to fill in the brows. I, like I said, I want something very soft, kind of fluffy, so I'm doing the bare minimum with the brows. While the brows set, I am going to go ahead and wipe off the powder that we have under our eyes, down the bridge of the nose, and on the chin. Then we can go ahead and move on to blush. So for blush, I am taking an oldie, but still such a goodie. This is NARS Orgasm, and I am applying that to the apple of the cheeks. I am going to go ahead and take my lash curler and I'm going to give my lashes a nice curl. And then for mascara, I am using the L'Oreal Telescopic Mascara on the tops and bottom lashes. I've been really into the more natural looking lashes. So for today, we are going to be applying some individuals. Moving on to the lips, I am going to start off by lining my lips using the Milani Lip Liner in the shade All Natural. And I've been lining my lips recently a little bit different. I'm actually smiling when I line my lips and I feel like that really accentuates the shape of my lips a little bit better. And then for gloss, I am using the Rimmel London Gloss in the shade 130. It's a beautiful neutral baby pink shade and I think it just it looks so beautiful and kind of pouty which I am obsessed with. I'm going to go ahead and remove the clips from my hair. I'm going to fluff up my curls just a bit. And this is it. This is the completed makeup look. Let me know your thoughts down in the comments. I personally have been loving this routine. It's a little bit more glam than my simple everyday makeup look, but it's just as fast and it's just just as easy so yeah if you did enjoy this video as always please don't forget to give it a big thumbs up don't forget to subscribe to my channel and turn on those post notifications so that you can get notified every single time I upload which is every Monday and Thursday at 4 p.m. Eastern time I love you guys so much thank you for watching and I'll see you on my next video mm -hmm.